uh, two of the candidates uh, that have jumped in the race, uh, Newt Gingrich and Sarah Palin. Uh, I guess uh, Sarah Palin hasn't jumped in the race yet, although a lot of people on the street think she has. Uh, pre present very interesting prospects. Uh, uh, I think there's uh, seldom been a campaign that imploded uh, as rapidly as Newt Gingrich's did, as uh, literally a day or so after he um, announced his uh, entry into the race, uh, he also violated uh, Republican orthodoxy and brought the ravages of the party down on his he head for uh, contradicting um, what uh, uh, what another congressman said uh, should be done with uh, regard to Medicare, namely uh, eliminate it. Uh, so he got off to a bad start as far as that goes. Shortly thereafter, his entire uh, senior campaign staff quit, uh, and he's now running on fumes. Um, he uh, is characterized by bombast and great uh, grandiose station statements, but it doesn't appear like he's going anywhere uh, fast, and uh, I, I look for him to be uh, an early dropout. Sarah Palin, on the other hand, I don't think will ever drop in. Uh, she's having a grand time going around the country giving lectures on history, including one that she gave recently here in Boston, which uh, was certainly uh, a revelation to many of us that thought that we had a, a handle on colonial uh, and revolutionary events. Uh, and she's also uh, an employee of Fox News. Uh, and I really uh, seriously doubt that she'll um, uh, give up her Fox News post and all the uh, lifestyle attendant there too uh, in order to tilt at the, the presidential windmill. At this point in the proceedings, I think you'd have to say that the Republican field uh, for the primaries is uh, extremely weak. Uh, the fact that uh, Governor Romney is leading by fairly substantial margins is, is testament to that fact. But I think the reason it's so weak is that it's only in a relatively re recent uh, weeks and months th that the economy has shown its uh, weakness truly. Uh, and that in itself uh, has increased the chances of a Republican nominee uh, being, uh, being uh, victorious in 2012. So uh, in a sense, the value of the nomination has gone up.